Hi there guys, welcome back to another Pricey P Roblox Studio tutorial. In our prior tutorial on Lethal Weapon 2, we have learned how to create this laser gun. And this laser gun is very lethal, so if it touches somebody, it takes away the health of that player. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a healing potion, so that when a player loses health, he or she can get this potion to regain all his health back. Let's now go to Studio and see how we can do that. Here we are inside Roblox Studio and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to need to get a potion bottle. So we're going to go to the toolbox, meshes, and I'm going to search for potion bottle. Hit enter. There is a Sriracha bottle, but that's not going to be very good for our potion bottle because that's going to burn our mouth. So I don't want to use that one. Here we have a soda bottle, a Mountain Dew bottle. Look at this, all kinds of bottles we have over here. So you can select any of these bottle as your potion bottle. And it's very interesting because if you scroll further down, you can see these are not even bottles and they appear here in the search. For example, I got this character here. And check this out, there's a fire hydrant. A fire hydrant is not a bottle, but still it pops up over here in the search. But anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick one that looked nice. Um, I think I'm just gonna go back to the top and I'm gonna select, how about this bottle right here? So I'm just gonna click on it and it goes over here inside my workspace. So this is the bottle we have selected. We can close this window right here. Now with the bottle selected, I'm going to go to my model menu tab. I'm going to click on texture generator. If you don't have this button, it could be that this feature is still a beta feature. So you're going to have to turn on that beta feature. We did have a uh, tutorial on this. So you can refer to that tutorial on how to turn on this beta feature. But anyway, I'm just going to click on this button right here. And there is my bottle. And now I'm going to enter a description in here for the AI to create a texture for this bottle. Healing Potion Bottle with an image of a Roblox character on the bottle. Let's click Preview, see what we have. It's gonna take a couple of seconds. And here it is. We have our bottle and that doesn't look like an image of a Roblox character, but you know, the bottle looks beautiful, so we'll take it. So we're just gonna say Save and Apply. And you can scroll down to see how much longer it's going to take. So it should take about 36 seconds, I assume. We're now at 18, 19 seconds. Hopefully it will be done soon. And there it is. It's done. There's our bottle. We can now go ahead and close this window. And we can place this bottle anywhere you want. It is a very big bottle. So if you like, you can scale it. Now this is going to be your healing potion bottle. So we're going to go to the bottle and we're going to add a script. In your script, just enter the following lines. So here we have a touch event. Whenever somebody touches this bottle, it's going to check to see if it is a humanoid that is touching the bottle. It's going to destroy the bottle and give the humanoid that touches the bottle 100 health. And 100 health is the maximum a player can have inside a game, so you're gonna regain your full health after drinking this potion. Let's play test now this one thing I want to show you. So as I enter the game, if you look over here inside the workspace, you're gonna see my character. If you expand the character, actually click on your character, you're gonna see a script. It's called a health script. If you open this health script, you're gonna see that this health script is going to automatically regenerate the, uh, the health of the character over time. So even without taking the potion, the, the magical potion, to regain your, your full health instantly, you can still regain your health over time. But this is going to take a long time to regain the health. But with the potion, you can regain your full health instantly. And inside the script, there are two variables, two constants up here that you can change. You can change these two constants to adjust how fast or how slow your health 
should regain over time. Anyway, so I just want to point out in case you're curious why your health is regaining back over time. It is because of that health script inside every character inside the game. And now let's check out our potion bottle. We're going to test it with two players. I'm going to click on the test and with local server, two players, click on start. Okay, so here we are. We have player number two here. And player number two is going to bring out his laser gun. He's going to activate it. And he's going to try and kill player number one. So player number one now lost some health. Now I'm going to go to player number one here. Where's my player number one? It's this guy here without the, the, the laser gun. And he's going to go... So you can see his health up here, right? It's regaining slowly. If I go back to player number two, up, oh, I didn't want to turn off the laser. If I go back to player number two and I hit him some more, you see he, he's almost dead. Player number one is almost dead, but now I'm gonna go to player number one. I'm gonna look for the, um, the bottle. Or maybe, why don't I just, how about if player number one fights back? He's gonna take out his gun now. He's gonna activate it and he's gonna hit player number two. Let's see what will happen. So player num number two now loses health too. Okay, player number two is almost dead. Now we're going to go to player number two. We're going to put away his gun so we know which one he is. So this is player number two. You, you can see his health is regaining very slowly, right? I'm going to go and grab that magical bottle, the beautiful bottle we have created. And it's gone. And look at my player number two. His health is fully recovered he has full health now he is fully healed and once you're done with testing just clean up click on clean up here and you're back inside roblox studio and guys that is how you make a beautiful healing potion bottle in roblox In case you're watching this video and you want to learn more about how to make the tools that you saw in this video, you can come to our channel, Price CP Roblox. We have all different kinds of playlists here. For example, here we have a playlist about arrays, tables, dictionary, and all that stuff. This other playlist here is all about constraints. So if you want to learn about constraints, this is where you're going to go. This one is all about Roblox events. So you can learn all about Roblox events inside this playlist. But the playlist that you probably want to look for in this case is all about tools. So this is where it is. This is the Roblox tools and weapons playlist. You can learn everything you need to know about Roblox tools and weapons inside this playlist, starting out with the very basic. And then each tutorial after that, you're going to learn more things about tools and weapons that you need to know inside Roblox. When you reach these two here, the Lethal Weapon and Lethal Weapon 2, those are the two tutorials where we show you how to make that laser gun that you saw inside the video. Have fun learning how to make tools and weapons inside Roblox, and we will see you in our next tutorial. Take care, everyone. Peace.